Hey everyone, I'll be covering all of the Nintendo Switch's game announcements for the third week of July, so let's get started. Our first game, Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz HD, is released on October 29th. This remastering of the 2006 Wii game includes upgraded graphics, optimized controls, a brand new mini game called the Cathalon, and online leaderboards. Experience a giant's world from the perspective of a tiny mouse trying to find his beloved in a rat's quest the way back home. Climb, jump, crawl, slither, and sneak around 3D environments while platforming and side scrolling to objectives. Solve puzzles and gather gadgets to survive this tale. The Switch version of Super Mega Baseball 2 Ultimate Edition will include all of its previously available DLC and fully feature online play with crossplay included. Enjoy several game modes at full 60 frames per second, and single Joy-Con support is available for quick head-to-head -head co-op or versus. During E3, Capcom announced Resident Evil 5 and 6 for the Switch. This past week, we got confirmation that a physical Resident Evil triple pack will be hitting the store shelves on October 29th. This physical package includes Resident Evil 4 and the cartridge, and download vouchers for 5 and 6. The Sanders is extreme downhill free riding for the modern era. With procedurally generated worlds, where mistakes actually have real consequences, you earn mutators that change the way you play and build reputation online to show what you're made of. A physical release for Tetris 99 has been confirmed for the West, releasing November 6th. This package includes the game, plus a 12-month Nintendo Switch Online subscription bundled within. In Rogue Like Hero, every stage is an action movie set piece where you fight various enemies, offering a comedic story with huge pool of items and gear, making each playthrough memorable, plus tons of bosses to test your skills. The Legend of Heroes Trials of Dawn is a mobile spin-off of the main Legend of Heroes series that's currently available on Android and iOS. Earlier this week, we got confirmation that the free-to-play game will be making its way to the Switch this fall. Explore a magical world where secrets are hidden around every corner. Lead a young man through an adventure to learn about himself and the purpose of life while fighting off an evil greater than the world has ever known in the Forbidden Arts, releasing August 7th. Damascus Gear Operation Osaka is a hack and slash mech game that was originally available on the Vita. Explore dungeons to collect new parts, tackle a variety of missions with plenty of mechs at your disposal, and customize everything including your arsenal and look. Experience a mature story unfolding throughout 40 story encounters in tactical classic battles where positioning is key in Fell Seal Arbiter's Mark, featuring over 30 classes and 300 abilities to customize your party. The cooperative strategy game Pandemic originally released on mobile and now is making its way to a hybrid console. Fight off diseases around the globe and engage in a race against time to contain epidemics threatening to wipe out humanity. Picross Lord of the Nazarick stays true to the Picross roots while featuring fan favorite characters and the story you're familiar with in Overworld. This entry includes over 520 puzzles. In 100 days, you have complete control of a new winery that you've been tasked to make prosper. Every step of the way must be micromanaged to succeed, from planting to presentations and store shelves. This choice is yours. Wrecking Ball Adventure is a family-friendly platformer for up to four players, with ball-shaped robots, physics-based puzzles, and 60 challenging levels. The arcade platformer, Citrule, features adorable little witches on a quest for candy. Enjoy over 50 levels within five unique worlds as you embark on a quest. A versus mode is also available for up to four users in one system. Utilize platforming mechanics to puzzle solve each new level where you must find an orb and throw it into the next challenge room in Roby Swift Hand and the Orb of Mysteries. In Bakery Simulator, you're working hard to timely deliver bread to your customers. Focus on artisan baking and develop specialties in your talent on the run-up to a successful bakery. Fusing time pressure RPG mechanics with management sims, Not Tonight, Take Back Control Edition, is a politically charged story where decisions actually have consequences as you fight back against the regime. Thrusting players into the cruel Vietnam War, when I was young, has you training, engaging with troops, and gunning down enemies in a pixel art fashion. The Kickstarter project for Orange Island has been surpassed, and a Switch version is in the works for this cutesy pixel art action game. In Mochi Mochi Boy, you'll rescue your friends from the devil who's trapped in a 130-floor tower chuck full of puzzles. And that's what the game announcements will be covering this week. The Switch revision sounds like a substantial enough boost for legacy Switch owners to consider upgrading. I know I'm definitely considering it on my end. So with all that said, as per always, thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate the support and be sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up. See ya!